Are you tired of the long process of sequencing DNA? Are you sick of making a million primers just for them not to work in the lab? Do you feel like you're losing patience with your research and you just don't know where else to go? Then I've got just the thing for you. My name is not important, but I'm here to sell you a new method of sequencing called hybrid sequencing. This method is universal, it's cost effective, and it's precise. Here's how it works. HypeSeq starts by cutting your DNA into more manageable fragments. These fragments will hold your target and non-target DNA. Adapters and baits are introduced into the mix. Adapters are used as a way of starting the eventual sequencing reaction. You can think of them like start here signs. Baits are magnetic probes that latch onto and identify your target DNA. Once everything is settled, magnetic beads are used to separate the target DNA from non-target DNA. The target DNA is then taken off the bead and put back into solution. It's then amplified and ready to be sent off to a sequencing facility. Once the sequence data is obtained, it is run through a computer program called Hyde Piper. Hyde Piper was designed to process large amounts of sequence data and organize it into ways that can be studied. The visualization that results depends on the analysis that was ran. For a population genetic study, you can produce a graphic depicting the genetic structure of many populations, or for a phylogenetic study, a tree displaying relationships between organisms can be made. Now that you've seen how it works, I want you to see what real scientists have to say about it. Yeah, I, I did the hype seek. Um, I used them on my cacti samples, you know, the, some scleric cactus from Utah. And yeah, I tested their uh, concentration to see if they were good to be sent off for sequencing. And it seems like it works, you know, the, the probes, they, they connected. But uh, in, in all seriousness, now, yeah, it's a, really, it's a really good thing. I'm expecting to get some good results. Hi, my name is Norm and I'm a real scientist working on MOSS genetics. And HypeSeq showed me how the taxonomy within a group I'm studying is really conflicted. The blue group should be all under one branch, but my data from HypeSeq showed that the group under the arrow is actually more closely related to another group. No more toiling away in the lab, trying to figure out if this primer will work, trying to figure out, oh, I have so many species, I have to make so many primers. Uh, nope. One kit, one set of probes, one reaction, you send them off, it's good, you get your data back, high piper, boom, results.